Uh, let's talk about surfactants. Uh, so surfactant is something uh, which like two interfaces. That's why we call them surfactants because they love the surfaces. So suppose if I have a molecule and I'll take example of a detergent. So it has a head group which loves the water. So it's a hydrophilic. And it has a tail which is made of carbon and it uh, dislikes water. So it is not hydrophilic. So we call it hydrophobic. Now this uh, is, uh, it has a surface property. So it, this is called a surfactant. Now if we put this on the surface of the water. So suppose if this is the water and this is air. So in this case, this surfactant will sit something like this. Right. However, if you force the surfactant to go inside the water, what will happen is that when it goes like this, this is at higher energy state. The, the chain of this detergent is at higher energy state because it does not like water. Right? Because the water, when, when we have water molecule here, water molecule around it, they like to get together and when you insert a carbon chain in between, that uh, does not allow water to get closer to another water molecule because they have to make a hydrogen bonding. So this one will be at higher energy state. However, this can make uh, interaction with water. So this is hydrophilic. So this is okay. right? So what will happen is eventually this particle will align together and make a cluster and they will make such a cluster that all the carbon chains can remain in touch and avoid any contact with water right and this will happen by itself so this is called self assembly process so if you take the detergent and put it in the water the detergent will take this kind of shape and this is called a micelle, right? So this is a micelle solution, right? Now what happen is suppose if you are doing your laundry. So in the laundry, the main thing uh, we have dust particle, with, uh, but we have a lot of oil which we need to get rid of from the cloths, right? So if there is oil, the oil is nothing but it's a bunch of carbons together, and this oil will be comfortable to have this acyl chain inserted in it right so if we have oil it will uh, the acyl chain will go into this oil like this and it will get clustered around it so this will be a win-win situation for both the acyl chain and the oil because the oil also does not like water so the oil will get into the center and it will be surrounded or completely covered by the micelles so now here the acyl chain also achieve the lower energy state and the detergent or the oil also achieve the lower energy state. So now oil can protect itself from the water. So this is water and this is the oil droplet. So the oil droplet can save itself against the water and acyl chain can also save themselves against the water. So now this become micelle. Now because this is a bigger molecule. Uh, when we rinse the water, because this is attached to the water and the oil was in the clothes. So when we rinse the water away, this will go with the water and your clothes will have oil removed from them. So this is how you can stabilize a oil water interface by adding detergent into the system, right? So oil water interface can be stabilized, right? Similarly, uh, sometimes we have to make some suspension. So suppose if we have to make a uh, suspension of uh, some oil uh, water uh, mixture. So if we have to make a suspension where oil is present inside the water. So this is water. And we want small oil droplet in this water mixture. So they will not be stable because at oil water interface there is a high energy penalty right because oil does not like water. 
so we can lower this energy penalty by adding the surfactant so if we add the surfactants into it or a detergent particle then we can stabilize this interface and that will allow us to make a stable system right now this oil which is surrounded by surfactants right right now it can also come in contact with another oil particle right so what we do is we sonicate it we provide lot of mechanical energy that breaks the oil particle and they make the smaller particles together but this particle particles can combine together and make a bigger particle and once they make the bigger particle then they can combine together again to make a much bigger particle right and that will leave result in precipitation right so to avoid that precipitation what can be done is there is another uh, molecule that can be used which is a long polymer chain with a acyl chain and a detergent head group so this is the detergent part so i'll draw it in a different way so this is the detergent part and this is the polymer chain so this is sorry call it as a surfactant and uh, we have a polymer chain attached to it right so when we add that then in this case our micelle will look more like this and it will have polymer chain coming out of it like this so in this case when the two of them will get together so now I have if the similar thing uh will get in touch with it so there will be a a spring effect so the th the two cannot come together because there is a uh, entropic uh forces which will keep them apart so if this try to come together there will be a spring effect and they will repel each other so that will give stability to the system and that can help you stabilize the water and the oil suspension for a longer time right so i hope this video help and i'll see you in the next video